guys, it's RB here, and today I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I draw MLP. So first you're going to need a sketch pad, a few sheets of blank white paper, uh, some form of graphite or regular pencil, um, just not mechanical, uh, and preferably like a kneaded eraser or an eraser that doesn't have like eraser gunk, uh, pigment markers, um, a pencil sharpener, and a black fine or extra fine lining pen. Before we start drawing, we're going to have to find out the five W's. Who, what, when, where, or why. It's important to know these things, because otherwise, if you have no idea who you're drawing, how are you going to draw it? Next, you have to fi figure out whether your pony is going to be a mare or a stallion, whether it's going to be a filly, teenager, or young adult. What we have here is a simple age progression that I drew of one of the OC characters I have. Now that you know the fundamentals, let's get started. Now there's a lot I want to cover in this video, so there will be two parts of it. So I will be showing the sketching in this video and the inking and stuff in the next video. But both parts will be coming out this weekend, so yes. Alright, so in order to draw a basic pony shape, you gotta do like a circle over here. And by now, you probably should have decided whether or not your pony's gonna be a mare or a stallion, or if, whether she's going to be a filly or a young adult or a teenager. I'm just gonna do mine a regular age. So you want to kind of make a line here starting halfway through the circle and work your way down. And you see all these messy lines? These are good. This means that you have good control. And you can always like re-edit and make your neck kind of thicker. So, you kind of curve. This is normally how I do it, but I, uh, it, I have been drawing ponies for about a year and a half, so this is why I don't do the old circle technique anymore. And you know, you can always just kind of go in and re-edit it. It doesn't look very pretty right now. It really honestly doesn't. But it, it takes work. A drawing I'm going to show you near the end of the video, that one took me three hours just to get the sketch done. And it might not look it, but it takes a while. And I always go through and erase these crappy little lines. Might as well just do that now. And then you'll see the pony take much better shape once the lines are cleaned up. Cause it's just, it gets annoying sometimes to have to clean up the lines all the time, but it's better to be able to play around with it. And make sure these lines are fairly light. Mine look kind of dark, but they're actually fairly light compared to what I could be doing, which is like really hard pressing stuff. So now the muzzle, and you always want to know what where your character's facing. I'm just gonna have mine looking to the left. And everyone has their own style of how they draw their ponies. I am just showing you guys mine. But, you know, I learned just by, um, you know, kind of watching My Little Pony and paying close attention to the details. And I've had, I've literally switched in between styles at least six times until I actually settled on one. So it it does kind of take a while, but once you develop your own style, you're gonna be like really, really, really proud of yourself. So now I'm gonna draw the hooves. It's also important to know whether your pony is going to be a Pegasus or a unicorn or an earth pony or even an alicorn. So Always when you draw the hoof coming from the back, so this is the body and then this is the other hoof, make it slightly shorter, so have it come at least to here. I always have my hooves kind of curve a little bit, and you can have them however you want, but that's just the way I do it. But remember, if you are going to like do um, use um, a very similar style or the style that an artist you see uses, 
give credit to the original artist because it can be kind of frustrating when someone uses your style and doesn't and doesn't give you credit. I've actually I know how it feels. So yeah, it's happened to me before in real life actually. I think I'm gonna make my pony uh Pegasus. So I can show you guys how I draw my wings. You can have your wings folded or unfurled, but since I showed you folded in the age progression, I'm going to show you how I draw mine unfurled. Now the wings can be as tall or as short as you like. Just make sure that as they go down, the little droopy feather things get smaller. And we clean up the line a little bit here. And then we'll do the other wing. Try it so you side. And I'll clean up the lines. And this comes through the middle. Now it's time to clean up the lines. Yay! Honestly, you guys can do it with like a totally clean line right away, but usually when you do the clean line right away, it's always harder, like more solid. So um, it's good to have kind of these sketch lines so um, you can see how, si how you want to size it as well. It depends on how you want to make your eyes. I'm just going to do um, an almond shape, kind of. Similar to Sunset Shimmers. You can decide the direction, however, in whatever direction you would prefer. I'm just gonna do her facing forward. All right. So, now that we've got kind of the mainframe of the body going, we can decide on the hair and everything. And usually when you're drawing like your OC or a pony, you gotta know what the personality is like because sometimes the way you make the hairstyle, it can really say something about the personality. So, the hairstyle does tell a lot. And of course, so does the cutie mark. So you gotta know exactly what you're gonna do. Like I said in the beginning, the five W's. Who, what, when, where, and why. Why we'll get to later. Okay, we'll get to why now. Why means kinda, you gotta draw your pony with a purpose, you know? Why is your pony standing there? Why? So that usually comes in with the facial expression. I'm just going to continue going with that OC pony that I showed you on the age progression. So, and this is one of my OCs, so I did create her. And then we can get to my favorite part of doing all of this, inking. Da -da -da. As soon as I do this. <laughs> but alas, that will have to wait for part two. We'll look out for part two coming soon this weekend, aka either tonight or tomorrow morning. I have no idea. 